Well, joining me live now to discuss Snowden's possible plan is former MI5 agent Annie Michon. Thank you for joining us here on RT, Annie. So uh, why do you think Snowden's left Hong Kong? Did you think he, feel he felt protected enough there, or was it just a matter of his visa running out? Well, I think it was very canny to flee there in the first place because Russia and China are probably the only two countries who can effectively stand up to the brute force of U.S. diplomacy these days. Um, but no, it appears that the warrant for his arrest was sent to Hong Kong. Um, there was problems with the paperwork, and that allowed um, Snowden time to actually flee Hong Kong while the, the Chinese replied to the problems. It's also interesting that in their press statement they said that they were complaining officially to the US for the US spying on them, which of course came from the revelations of Edward Snowden. So they're pushing back. It gave him the chance to flee. And I think, it, again, it's a very canny move to, to go to Russia because he will be safe there and then can plot where else he wants to go. Uh, do you think Hong, Sh Hong Kong should have taken steps to keep him from leaving the island? I think they've fulfilled their legal requirements. And, you know, there's been so much in the Western media over the last few years about the Chinese hacking all our systems and everything. They must be very pleased to have evidence that, in fact, the U.S. is doing the same to them so they can push back. So I think it was a good place for him to go. And I think the irony now is that it's the U.S. that whistleblowers have to fear. It's the U.S. that whistleblowers have to flee from. Because, of course, at the moment, the Obama administration is waging a war on whistleblowers, not just Ed Snowden, but also people like Bradley Manning and his awful trial and conditions, and also a whole range of other whistleblowers from the CIA and the NSA. For example, John Kiriakou of the CIA, who exposed the U.S. torture program, is the one currently languishing in prison for 30 months, not the torturers. So I think the irony that people have to fear the U.S. when and all they're trying to do is expose the crimes of the U.S. It must be bitter. Now, the U.S. had apparently warned Hong Kong uh, authorities ahead of today's developments. How do you think this will affect relations between the two? Well, um, Hong Kong was just going by the legal book, so really the U.S. doesn't have anything to complain about. Um, but yes, there was a sort of a slow warming of the diplomatic relationships between uh, China and the U.S., and I think this has probably sent it backwards. However, I would suggest that Snowden has done a public service, not only to the US people, but to the people of the world, in exposing quite how badly we are being watched and surveyed by the US and the NATO Big Brother states. Now, we have been getting reports that Snowden's been granted asylum, although it's still too early to, uh, n to determine which country has offered him safe harbor. What's your guess as to where he's headed? Well. I know that there's been a lot of speculation that WikiLeaks has been trying to help him gain asylum in Iceland, and he needs to get there first. Um, Iceland does have a very good reputation for protecting transparency and freedom of information on the internet, so that may well be a possibility. But he needs to ensure that he goes to a country which, one, does not have an extradition treaty, or does have an extradition treaty, but only, it does not cover political offences such as he has been deemed to do. Um, but it's also strong enough to push back, because there will be immense pressure from the US um, to hand him over. Uh, do you think there's a chance he could be intercepted en route to the third state? Possibly, yes. So, in fact, getting to Russia um, is a very safe place to be at the moment because they will not be pressured. The unfortunate choice, though, uh, of Russia here is that it will make it very easy for the Western media to deem him to be a traitor now, which might mean that he might face even more charges under the Espionage Act. I think, though, strategically, if he were to remain in Russia and Russia was seen to protect him and not try and use him, then strategically that would send a very strong message to the whole world about who exactly is the totalitarian state these days. Is it the US or is it the uh, other countries like Russia or China? And I think Edward Snowden's choice of refuge um, demonstrates very much that the US is currently the bully boy of the world. All right, strong opinion there from Animation, former MI5 agent. Thank you.